Hey! <laughs> This is Pure Gary today. We are back and we are doing the GTA 5 Casino Heist. So the Diamond Heist Casino. So we're on the setup board and what we need to do is we need to do the vault contents. We need to find out what's inside the vault. And I don't know how we're going to do that but I guess we're going to find out. Now there was a live stream planned for yesterday but obviously being busy and then I couldn't. And then also having other things go on meant that I was just too busy. Got home, went to live stream, and it wouldn't let me live stream off the Elgato, so that's caused issues. Okay, so we're going to go to the observatory. Oh, let's go. In fact, we'll call our car in. Just to make sure we get the right car out, we'll call it in from the actual garage. So I was planning to live stream, but then I couldn't live stream. So then I recorded and then uploaded it as a a preview today, or a premiere. I think yeah, premiere is the one that it's called. Right, I'm trying to think where it went to. I think it was the. Hmm, was it the? Yeah, it was. There we go. It's on the way. I'll get back to work. Now, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get a team on to play it. It could be at the latest Wednesday or Thursday night. So I might not get a chance to actually do the heist till Wednesday or Thursday. But I want to at least record this and then I'll probably upload this maybe Tuesday night. So then Wednesday afternoon I can, or evening, I can then upload the actual heist itself if we get a chance because I don't know how long the heist is going to take I don't know anything really about besides certain cuts obviously I've seen information about it you know you can have two people and you've got to pay for Lester he has a cut then you've got to clean the money he Lester obviously requests to pay for that too and then you have the crew members extra crew members as well like NPCs so they're involved so that's kind of a cool feature, but the pay apparently isn't the best pay ever for especially splitting it between each other. So you only get a million to split between two. It's kind of rubbish because it kept saying, oh, this is the best, you know, money making you'll ever make. But I am kind of hoping that they're going to then bring, oh, I'm assuming that's an online player's car, maybe. Actually, no, it could be, yeah, uh, it'll be, um, something to do with this, surely. Of where we are. I'm assuming so anyway. Oh, we're searching for security guard. Oh, for the security guard. Oh, okay, right. So we're meeting a security guard, a part of the staff, I'm assuming. Him. He's got a clipboard. Just ignore me with my body armor. Is it him? I oh, know it's not a clipboard. Oh, we're going to hack his phone, so we're not going to meet him, we're going to hack him. Oh, he's actually got a security uniform. How did that even work? There's an actual security guard with pretty cool body armour. Cool outfit, really. I quite like the idea of making that type of outfit, but there's loads of outfits now as so we've been over in my pre-recorded live stream. Alright, let's get our assault rifle out because it's going to kick off. Just pin them down at least. There you go, that keeps them down and away, so I now need to drive off this cliff edge down to the casino. Because I'm assuming we're then going to hack into the casino itself. Oh, I thought we were going to crash into that tree then. But we're crashing into that one. And... Over the wall. Oh, God. Right. 
Time to drive fast. Here we go. We'll go around on this side. So, as I was saying before we started that little weird hack thing that immediately went wrong, I would really like them to add more heists like this, but actually have more heists that are better paying. So, like, you get paid 5 million, and then you split it between two players. That would be good, because it would also get people playing the game more, because they'd constantly play the same heist. Yes, people would have lots of money, but then Rockstar would probably have a reason to actually upgrade or level up the amount of prices they put, you know, because obviously things are very expensive at the moment. There would be a reason then that they could justify having cars that price and things like that. Yeah, people would then spend less time and less money on shark cars, but they're still playing their game. And then that would be a good way of then getting people to start getting ready for GTA 6. Because they're not spending as much money on shark cars, we then have them spending more time making GTA 6. But, you know, I guess they're working on it now. What do we do now? Do we go in? Oh, yeah, we do. Car's a bit smashed up. I've got an assault rifle in my hand and I'm wearing body armour. That doesn't look suspicious at all to the car, but, like, there is an issue there. Oh, we're looking for wife. Oh, that's cool. Sights here. To locate the signal. Okay, get strong as we go through here. I'm assuming it's going to be like a staff area only, maybe? Is it getting stronger as we go this way? Yeah, it is. It's getting even stronger. Is it getting stronger this way? It doesn't want me to go down there, does it? No, it wants me to go this way. Okay. Oh, it's getting weaker. Okay, it is getting weaker then. Hmm. It's here, isn't it? Right, so what we're going to do now, are we going to hack into the security system or is it going to do it for us or what, what's going to happen? Ah, it's in it for us, okay. Search for the vault camera. Right, let's cycle through. Oh, it cut them off. But we have got a timer, so we've got to be quick. Okay, yeah, they've got metal detectors, so that is an issue, obviously. So that's good, so we know if we want to go and we can't be packing loads of heat. Just a corridor. Elevator, some doors, nothing really special. Looks like an armoured door, though. But not a vault door. Staff only. Elevator. Oh, broken elevator, maybe. Uh, I think that's on the trailer where they rappel down. That would be cool. Gotta find the vault, surely. It's gonna... Oh, there we go. What's in the vault? Because if they say gold, so if there's gold. Oh, it's cash. Okay, let's go on to the next one, see whether there's anything else we can find on the next cameras, or is it going to take us back to the start? No, it seems like a different place. That's a security thing. Oh, it's 19 seconds. I don't think we're going to get enough time to find anything else. No, we're back at the start. Right. Just do one more thing. 
try it one more time, see whether there is anything else at all. No, okay, uh, what's going on? Is it just kicked me off or? Because it said everyone's left the game. It was worrying, but it's fine. I think it's just a uh, disconnection. I oh, know, people are still there. Right. Well, I've only got 20 million. So we spent 20 million yesterday on this whole casino DLC. Or casino heist DLC. I don't know what of that would have been the prep thing for the two or three. You know, the vault, the keypad, and the model. Then you also had. The hell's going over there? He's sitting down on the floor. Okay. I've never noticed that before in the NPCs doing that. And then we obviously bought some of the cars and we upgraded them, so that's good. And then what else do we do? There was no guns. We bought some clothes, not all. Because a lot of the clothes I want are the outfits that are uh, like the actual proper cool outfits. Like, yeah, Securo and things like that. Okay, we're gonna leave the area. Right, let's get out of here and I'll smash that up in there. I might actually part of this car, the BMW X5 that I got yesterday. And in fact, I might park all the cars I got from this heist DLC in this garage that we have here. Because I think it's a car, it's a 10 car garage, not a five. I hope so anyway. Right, let's have a look. What's that say? Heist prep complete. That's a good thing then, I guess. Now, I wonder whether I can collect all the stuff I need to do the heist on my own. Because if I can, then that's another video itself. Well, that, it's all over. That's from the last heist, you know, the last casino DLC that I've just never completed. I'll do that some other time. Because if I can, then that's brilliant. I can do them now on my own in another video. But if I've got to wait for mates to come on, then I've got to wait a few days until I'm actually free during normal time that they would be on. Now that we know what we're stealing, right, okay. we can choose how to steal it. Oh, we can choose how to do it. Each deals with security in a different way. Let's take a look. Silent and sneaky. Uh -huh. I'm not meant to have favorites, but <laughs> if you've ever seen me creeping into your bedroom and videoing you in your sleep, you'll know this one's for me. Okay, so that's creepy. In and out without being seen, avoiding work dealing with the guards. The big con. It's catfishing. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it. And who doesn't like pretending there's someone else and making a mark look stupid? In this case, we're fooling casino security. Get a hold of some uniforms and walk in there like you know what you're doing. Aggressive. <laughs> this approach relies on going in hard and fast and violent and catching security on the back foot. Expect heavy resistance by the time you make your way out. Price of doing it dirty, I guess. So apparently the difficulty, basically you can pick it, you can pick the difficulty while you're doing the heist, but the actual difficulties themselves is that's hard, because it's silent and sneaky, the hardest one. That's the big con, so that's the middle one, and that's medical, med middle difficulty, and then aggressive is the easier one, because you can just go guns blazing, you haven't got to worry about hiding and keeping stealthy. Obviously, silent and sneaky, that could easily go wrong for you, and... The minute it goes sneaking, silent and stealthy, you're going to then have the issue of you might not have the equipment you need to go all gone blazing if it kicks off. The big con, obviously mid, you'll have some weapons, but you won't have loads. So it's going to be a mid thing. If it kicks off, you're going to have a little bit of an issue. But this, if it kicks off, well, it's going to kick off from the minute you get in there. 
So I'm going to go for the big con, because that's what I want to do. I do want to do the big con, but I'm going to do it all three eventually. Right, now we can pick our crew. If we use that guy to get in, oh boy, that'd be some story. Now the crew. We need them here at Mission Control, organizing everything with me. Gunmen. These guys will use their contacts to source some unmarked weapons. And if you've got the spare cash, it'll also help reduce the heat by causing a distraction during the getaway. The driver. They're going to set up your getaway vehicle and a switcher car to help you lose the cops if you want to pay for one of those. Better the driver, better the cars they can help you acquire. Packers, my tribe. <laughs> They'll determine how long you get in the vault, so choose wisely or, you know, cheaply. Your call. Okay, so we've got to pick our teams. It's exactly like the normal heist themselves. And obviously what we want is we want something good. Weapon-wise, obviously that's an unknown person because it's obviously not someone we've met or something. I don't really know. But let's start from the beginning. The beginning, how much are they going to want? They're going to want a 5% cut, 9% cut for the next one. Then for the next one, it's 7%. Then it's 10%. So if it was 10%, no, 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 no. Let's say 10%. 10%. 9%. Let's just say that. The best in the game. That's 19% already. Then Lester will take a 10% cut. So that's 29% gone out of like the 2 million or something I think it is. So let's, you know, let's have a look what weapons they got. Because that, that to me isn't, well now I guess it is a good gun after all. But we're going to be going in stealthily anyway, so do we really need really good weapons? I don't know. See to me that's better. I would prefer that, so I'm going to go for that thing and then for this guy what I'd say that's better too expert well he's an expert so it's fine they're the vehicles that I would like and then I think hmm I think Paige we've got to get her anyway because she's been the one that was in the main finale and everything else so we'll get him Mr. Moda got the gun <laughs> fine choice Right, and then we'll get him. Steady Eddie! Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Worth every penny. Okay. And then we'll get him. I think all of them have been in the final heist. He's the best of the bunch. Right, okay. So. Unmarked weapons. Rifle loadout. Um, okay. Select. Okay, can provide you with options on where to steal untraceable weapons. Oh. These guns will not lead back to us if the shit hits the fan. And I know, you're a genius, okay, but I've seen a lot of shit hit a lot of fans in my day. Oh, rifle, shotgun. Yeah, we want rifles. Now, can we do this on our own? Please, let's all pray that we can do this on our own. It would be good if we could, because then we can get all the set up board before my mates get on in like a few days and then we can literally just do the heist okay there we go this is going to be easy then because technically i could do all the setups and everything on my own and then get my mates in or random is at the last second hopefully that's how it's going to work let's touch wood there and hope that's exactly how it works now we have to be prepared because i think we're going to be stealing weapons go to the stoner cement works so let's head down there Ah, oh, great, there's cops. Ah, oh, great, so we all know what's going to happen. I'm going to be attacking the cops to get these weapons. And it's probably going to be in a truck or a van or something where the weapons aren't exactly easy to obtain. But as I was saying in the live stream, slash premiere, I think Michael's going to come back, and that could be a good sign, because if Michael comes back, then maybe we could do another big heist, like a massive heist. Especially if it's something that they want to do. Because GTA 5 was based about heist. That was the main story. So the online should technically be about heist. And I think the heist we've got, cool, the standard ones, they were brilliant. 
especially for what we got, but we weren't what we thought we were getting was what we've got now, where you get multiple choices and you can attack and things like that. Also, me and my mates kind of thought it would be you can just go in and rob a bank and do it your own way and plan as you go if you want, or you can plan ahead and get all the getaway vehicles and snipers on rooftops and that. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And then we got the Doomsday Heist that were basically just about saving the planet or saving, well, saving the planet, saving, saving the planet, not paving the planet, that wouldn't be good. Saving the planet and the city from nuclear destruction and from a cyber attack guy. So, yeah, that's weird. And But they were good fun and payouts, and they started the whole two thing. Okay, they're thin on the ground, so if I can take them all, that would be good. Now, I don't think... Yeah, I need to do that so I have access to all my weapons, really. No, I've been caught already. I don't get it. Where are they? They're not in the trucks. They're not in the cars. I'm about to die any second. Like, next bullet and I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Please don't tell me that's going to fail it or anything like that. Hopefully I can just carry on. Please. Okay, we can. Right, it's good. Alright, so where are the where are the hell are the weapons? You're dead. Yeah, I see you. Hmm, that's weird. Let's go and have a look around here for the weapons. Ah, there they are. Ah, it's two trays of weapons. Let's go and have a look for the other ones just so we know where they are. The police are better, were in better uniforms, are they? I don't even know. They're sheriff department, like. But they look like they're wearing better armor than they would normally. Ah, oh, great. This is the only issue being in the public lobby. Everyone can see where you are. Right. It's time to get out of here. Okay, so now I'm assuming we need to get back to our casino. No, not our casino. Our arcade place. So this could take a little while and we've got a helicopter on us, so that's going to be an issue, but it's fine. Hopefully we can just not crash into metal bollards. Your gunman will stash the unmarked weapons at the casino for you. They'll likely be dropped in the laundry room or waste disposal. Now you might want to remember this on the heist, otherwise you'll be down to just a pistol. Okay, so what's just being said there is the waste disposal or the laundry place will be where the weapons are hidden for me. So that's good. Because they'll get them into the casino for me and all I'll have to do is literally just go in to the set area and grab the weapons. So we need to get this last one and then we'll be back. Okay, so we've got the last weapon case. So there we go. Let's put that into our... Uh, warehouse thingy and hopefully then we go downstairs and there'll be like weapons placed there or something or maybe the guy's going to take them straight to the casino but I doubt it I'm assuming they'll just do it the day of otherwise it'd be a bit weird that wouldn't it if there's loads of weapons just hanging around all right let's have a look 
Is there any weapons around here? Oh, there's a car. And I haven't even asked for a car yet. Oh, there's weapons though. And there's two guys here too, checking them out. Oh, we can do Mark II weapons. Ah, right, this might be a, maybe a way to have a look at our Mark II. Right. I doubt it, because I'm assuming it would be here. No, that's <laughs> that's not the weapon we're after. So that's a bit of a. And again, that's not the weapon we're after either. That's a bit rubbish. I thought the weapon, the handgun, might be a Mark II. Because I know that there's the handgun. Obviously, we saw in the live stream. It was literally just. Let's have a look quickly in here. It was literally just a quick, simple. If you complete the heist finale, you'll get the handgun. So, oh well, I guess. The crew's, the whole crew's down here though, that's cool. But that's where we're going this video guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, press the notification button down below for instant notifications. And well, in the next video we'll probably be doing the getaway vehicles, and then we'll be doing the hacking device, and then we'll have to go and get all these individual things, or buy them, I'm not really sure. So, we'll see you guys in the next video.